Coming soon to theaters. Someone comes into your office and tells you they saw this in their backyard. Who showed you this? Last night, I saw something that I cannot describe. What happened to my wife? I need to know what this is. Do not be afraid. Soon to home video. This is Dick. I'm a private dick. Name's Dick, Dick Rasmussen. You've probably seen my television commercials. You think your wife's cheating on you? You're probably right. This is Dick's girlfriend. I have to tell you something very important about Dick. This is Dick's mistress. Hey, crossing guard. Last week, back on my car, that loose spring took a chunk out of your... Oh, this is Dick's enemy. I asked you to pop this guy over a week ago. I need this to happen. I need it to happen now. I know. I'll X him tomorrow. This is life. Whoops. Without Dick. Oh. You are Colleen Gibson, right? I know. This looks really bad. That's, that's Dick. Yeah. He's, um... Were you, were you gonna say dead? Yeah. I did it. I got Dick. Now, Dick's girlfriend is moving on. This whole killing thing is really getting on my nerves. Yeah, I'll do your hits. I'm not gonna have you do my killing for I'd me. I'd do anything. Come on, it's the least I can do for you. Finding new talents. So where'd you learn to shoot like that? And loving for the first time. What do you say we get out of here and start having a little fun? Oh, more shooting. Sarah Jessica Parker. <gasps> yes! Harry Connick Jr. Hey, do you think it's easy for me to admit that I'm a hitman who can't kill? It's embarrassing. And Johnny Knoxville. You want to know another thing I love about this little filly? <laughs> Not really. Life without death. I dumped a body for you. I, I got rid of a murder weapon. Where I'm from, that's love. See what you're missing on video and DVD. Hey, you thought about what you want for Christmas? You want the bike, don't you? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Okay, Pop. For Christmas, I'd like a bra to enhance what I got, which is a lot more than that Melissa Thomas. I'm telling you nicely that you're too young. Well, whether I'm too young to have them or not, I've got them. I'm a woman. Boys were her destiny. Always, get out. That's my dad. All we would do was make it out. And I never go past second base with a guy I just met, which means nothing below the waist. Boys were her weakness. Pretend that I'm your parents. Mom, Pop, yeah, I'm pregnant. My daughter's a tramp. My daughter's a tramp! You're a disgrace! I wish that you were never born. Okay, go. Until one boy... I didn't have a boy, I had a girl. ...changed everything. No, we had a boy. So he's gonna grow up and be just like me. <laughs> <laughs> From director Penny Marshall... <laughs> what happened? ...comes the story of a girl... It got in my mouth! ...whose dreams took an unexpected turn. What's one bad day, right? <laughs> one day can make your life. 
All right, everybody smile, please. Just everybody stand still. All I did is four or five big days that change everything. If you want to change your life, you can. Do you know what it's like to have a dream? I may not be the perfect guy, but nobody will love you like me, Bev. Leave me alone. I am your mother, and that means you're not allowed to stay mad at me. Experience the plans we make, <laughs> the risks we take, <laughs> and the people in our lives who make it worth the ride. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Mommy is going to go do something that's going to change the rest of our lives. Riding in cars with boys. How do I look? You look beautiful, Mommy. So David's saying you wait until the, all three of us are in before you. Oh yeah, right. Make the trip. Well, yeah. But I think you've been doing that. Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, I here's the thing. It has been. Yeah. I do the. I do this. <laughs> I think we all understand each other. Jerry and I met in uh, 1964. Jerry came from California, and I came from New Jersey. The man had a heavy burden on his shoulders, being the king of the Deadheads. And here it was all about hanging out, playing music. They're born out of the same cosmic egg and it did kind of look similar all friends that are great musicians i think david tightened jerry up beards of a feather and i think jerry loosened david up he started the dead style of music david he started dog music so we have a new tune grateful dog when you first I came to Liverpool, both david and jerry were really musicologists they would sort of unearth these things and bring them to light and share them with people. Jerry used to say to me, hey, we can do this for the rest of our lives, you know, just keep getting together, and we did. But once he died, I realized, well, this, this was it. I think Jerry coming over to the house, it's like a little safe haven. He could come here and be one of the guys. <laughs> there was something about Jerry and David playing together that made it more fun. They had a musical friendship. We both share a lot of love for old time music and traditional music, so we're trying all kinds of things. It all feels good. That studio was just so relaxed. Yeah, hey, that's a good one. I love that. It's kind of like I remember being a kid and playing in someone's basement. <laughs> <laughs> American, you know. And I'd like you to meet my friend Jerry. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Jerry. I get home before daylight. Just might get some sleep. 
Motion picture from Mariah, featuring the hits Lover Boy and Never Too Far, with guest appearances by Eric Benet, Buster Rhymes, Cameo, DeBrat, DJ Clue, Ja Rule, Ludacris, Mystical, Nate Dogg, and more. Glitter, in stores now.